Welcome back to One Piece Anime Review, episode 169. This one I'm reviewing the 949th episode of the anime for One Piece. We're here to win Luffy's Desperate Scream. This one daps from chapter 949, starting page 7, going straight to page 19. Yeah, it's interesting though. Episode one, 949 adapts from chapter 949 of the manga. I'm like, that is so hilarious. The fact that it just did that. Yep. Now, in case you're curious though, is there any additions they made from the manga? Not much. They made a few minor things. They may have a few things to it. Now, they do show a lot of stuff basically. Some minor stuff that wasn't shown in the manga. Okay. The episode starts off with basically the prisoners basically all being infected with the mummy virus. And Luffy, of course, basically being gassed the fact that, well, everybody's being infected and, of course, everybody's trying to attack him. So he basically intentionally infects himself, basically, with the virus. And he pretty much tells everybody, of course, you see, you see him stretch out his arms, basically, got every other basically who infected. And tell them all down, and, of course, basically... There's a slight warning change in the manga where he says, so what, I'm from, I'm from overseas. In the manga, he said he was an outsider, while here, he basically said he was from overseas. I don't think everybody's complaining about the warning change. Who wants to save the country from Kaido, and, well, pretty much thanks to Luffy's speech, he's able to turn the prisoners against the warden. Well, Luffy, of course, sees the fact that the warden of the prison is putting this little thing in his elephant, the 200 plague, and then somehow, basically, he's about to launch, now they do add this little thing in, where he's about to launch, and he's like, oh, what the heck is this? And it's revealed that, oh yeah, Luffy tied up the trunk, thus causing the self talk on himself. The Luffy for the rest of the episode simply just, then he tells the prisoners, he points at, he tells them, like, you guys take out the rest, and the prisoners all take down the Vice Warden, we see a Solitaire is briefly being attacked. Yep, Solitaire, a character who technically didn't appear in the chapter. Nope, Solitaire does not appear in the act chapter itself. They added her into the chapter because the thing about Solitaire is, is that this fact that she is a canon character, it seems as though a lot of the time the anime does a lot more with her than the actual manga does. Isn't that quite weird? Like, I have never seen us for a character for this series where... The anime does a lot more with this character than the actual original source material. Which, yeah, that's quite interesting. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, there's also flashback, like, basically we mentioned that he knew about various samurai. We, we, we can pretty much get flat stock footage of what happened in Punk House with Kinemon. We have tens, I think it's Rin, not, we have Rin from the current arc of the series... He had the one who was a painter when he showed up in Dress Rosa. Basically in the area where he showed up in. I, yeah, I thought it was interesting though, the actual actual stock footage in here. Which I never expected to see that. Which, that's quite something. Though some of the stuff happened years ago. Like, I think like Punk Hazard happened, what was it, about six, seven years ago I think it was in, in the anime. Yeah, though I, I originally watched about... Three years ago, and yes, I'm still trying to finish up Punk Hazard right now with the redub, and the dub itself is almost done with Punk Hazard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's almost done. It's got about, I think, about 11 episodes left, though. I think next time they're going to release, they're going to finish up dubbing that arc and dub the 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 following arc that comes right after that, which is a quick little mini a mini three parter, which is the standalone filler. It doesn't lead to anything. It kind of does bridge the gap what happened between Dress Rosa and, well, Punk House and Dress Rosa. And then, pretty much, yeah, mostly, it doesn't really change very much the manga. Not really, no. I would say, well, we do see, briefly, Tama, when he's telling the prisoners that he basically is agreeing to help the country because of a promise he made to his friend Tama. Which he blushes at that. Mm-hmm. Next episode is going to prove interesting because Luffy's going to be cured of the mummy virus. Which, you're saying in the manga, and when, when he got affected with the virus, 
he didn't do very much in the manga for about, I think about close about 20 chapters. Yeah, he didn't do anything for quite a while. Like a lot of time we see him, he's usually in quick cameos. Yes, Luffy, the main character series, produced nothing more than cameos. Kind of like how Deku was had sometimes being treated in the current arc for My Hero Academia. Yep, but not much else to say about One Piece. It's a good episode, and it's got a good pace with it, a lot better pacing, let's say, case closed, which felt very rushed. This one, no, not really. It didn't feel rushed at all. It felt very well paced, and good action stuff, basically, for the series. Oh, yeah, and also there's a brief thing of, we do see Captain Kid and Killer, like, right after they're given the keys to their cuffs, and, of course, Killer basically has slowed down as laughing. Yeah, he slowed down because constantly, part of this, he was seeing cons, like, laughing, like, nonstop. Here, he's like, seems like he finally has stopped laughing. He's like, huh, huh, maybe he gets to getting tired, I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised, though, if somehow that Law, when he meets it with him later... That law knows the ability to remove the effects of the smile from Killer's body. Who knows? It's distinctly possible. I mean, he hate from a defective smile fruit. That's the reason why all you can do is just laugh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but not much else to say about One Piece. It's good. Okay, so that's it. Particularly, I would do another one, but it's getting kind of late right now. I mean, normally probably thinking, wait, you're you're saying it's getting late and well, because here's the thing, it's actually for where I am, I am right now, it is 11.30 where I am right now. So, I would do the review, but if I do that, it'd probably be at the midnight. So, yeah, no more videos today. So, tomorrow, I'll click see videos for Baruto, Kegel Sour Lava's War, Black Clover, Usagi Chan wants to hang out, and is it wrong to take up girls in a dungeon? And maybe another comic corner or two. So I'd say probably a lot of videos coming tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Because of my day off and my, my, my days off. I generally put out a lot more videos than I do on, on my days I, I work. I mean, with this video here, this is only my fourth video, doesn't say overall today. Mm -hmm. So I'll see you see tomorrow. Depends on which one I do first. Either it's Kansas Town Love is War or it's Baruto. It just depends. Okay? See you next video. Bye.